Greetings class, this is Dr. A here. While y'all were having a good time uh, on your break back home, me, I went to Antarctica. When, uh, on December 3rd or 4th, I left and flew down to Ross Island, which is right over here, which is the main U.S. base of McMurdo Station. And from there, I then got into an LC-130 ski-equipped cargo airplane and flew up to the very south pole, which is right over here. And our field camp was very close to the geographic south pole. And we were in Antarctica this year to try and understand a little bit more about uh, what the ice of the south pole is like, how thick it is, what's underneath it, what's the temperatures within the ice, what's the temperatures at the bottom of the ice. All of the really big uncertainties in predicting what sea level is gonna do in the next 50 years, 100 years, all have to do with Antarctica. We first drill a hole down to about 100 feet and uh, we have this big uh, hot water drill and uh, they're actually made up of a very prosaic piece of equipment. We use a, a hot water a heater uh, that is commonly seen in car washes. This is just a straight old car wash heater that uh, we run and we pump water through it it heats it up until it's really, it's about 180, maybe 200 degrees, and then it gets pumped out through this hose and then through that cylinder over there, and, and, and is pumped out of the tip of that cylinder at very, very high pressures. We lower that cylinder down into the snow, and that hot water literally melts its way into the snow, and we slowly continue to lower it down as that hole gets deeper and deeper. Eventually, that uh, hole gets to about 100 feet and we'll stop drilling and we'll pull that cylinder back out again and now we've got this nice round hole that goes down and it is into that hole that we'll lower a small explosive charge about a third of a pound maybe a little bit more of high explosive after we've set off uh, uh, an explosive charge at this location we pick up that whole uh, rig, the computer, the cables, the geophone, and we move it to a different part of the ice sheet, maybe 100 feet or 200 feet away, put the whole thing down, and do the same experiment again. After we've done that, move forward, move it to a new place, and that way we can make a map of the bottom of the ice. 